What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I'm up quite early in the morning for me. Um, I got the Android 12 Beta 4.0 for One UI, um, Beta 2. Uh, it just came out this morning, and I downloaded it, and I wanted to show you guys a few things. So I'm not recording this from my regular setup, so I apologize if the video is not that great. Uh, actually, kind of traveling and shooting this on the road. I didn't intend to even do this. But anyway, uh, here's kind of what's in the the update, and I have to admit, I was definitely wrong. You guys will notice right here that one of the things in the update is color theming. So you've got basically a version of Monet in here. Um, it's not perfect, but I'm gonna show it to you guys really quick so you can see what it's all about. There's also some other bugs that were fixed. Um, you've got a new mic mode during video calling. Um, you've got the RAM Plus, which is the virtual RAM, which we already saw um, that that's been rolling out to several Samsung phones, so it's not surprising that that was in here. Of course, there's a lot of bugs that were fixed as well, um, and some other improvements. I'll dig into it and get a full review up later. I just wanted to show mainly the color theming and then also comment a little bit on the performance here and, and mention that it's out. So basically, um, what you can do is if you go into your wallpaper, you'll notice that you now have this option right here for setting a color theme. Um, and the one thing that I noticed when I first did it is I actually had a theme that was applied um, from the Samsung theme store. I was actually running something um, on here. I think it was from Goodlock before. And this will be grayed out if you have a Goodlock theme in there, which makes sense, obviously, if you're using something like Theme Park. And so I, I couldn't figure it out because I had forgot that I applied it. I had to go in there and change it because it says it's not available. But once you actually change it back to a stock theme, the stock One UI 4.0 theme, then you can go in here and change the color theme. And you'll notice I've got a nice purple wallpaper here. And then here are your options at the bottom. So basically it pulls in some different colors. Um, I'm guessing, well, I don't really know obviously because Samsung hasn't said anything, but I'm guessing this is not actually using uh, Monet since as I said in the last video, Google hasn't fully open sourced that yet, and it won't be open sourced until Android 2.1. But basically, you've got some different options. Um, it's obviously not quite like the Google version because <clears throat> with a Google version, they basically pull in the colors automatically. Um, it doesn't really give you this, this nice choice up front. So it's kind of nice that Samsung's doing that. You can see some of the things that are themed up here, calculator and some other things, the Samsung stock apps. Uh, so I chose this theme here with the purple. And of course I still want dark mode on my dark wallpapers. So if you go back into the settings here, you'll notice this is what it looks like. The animations are a little smoother. Um, we didn't get those exact pixel animations that some people were hoping for, but they are a little smoother. You see, you've got the coloration on the brightness slider also on the tiles. Uh, you can turn dark mode on and it works just fine with dark mode too. Uh, I was able to apply it. You can see the purple still subsist. It's a little easier to see things though without the dark mode on, which is why I turned it off for a minute. Um, you do have text, like you can see I'm purple text there on my widget. Uh, if you go into the settings, um, there's still some places where they can obviously fix these things. It would be nice to have more purple text, but you see you get purple accents on everything. It's not all purple. It's a little more subdued than what Google has done with the pixel. Um, Monet theming so it's a little more subdued but you definitely see the purple elements throughout there and if you go into the Samsung calculator uh, then you'll see the purple there and I'll show you guys what it looks like with the dark mode a little higher contrast there's the purple but you still get some elements of green and stuff for the actual keys like the power key plus key and all those various things like that so definitely has the Monet elements I was wrong um, my last video I said I didn't think they would do this kind of dynamic color theming, but like I said, I, I don't know that this is actually Monet or Samsung's kind of doing their own thing, which is what it looks like to me. I mean, that certainly seems to be the case, especially since it's not exactly an automatic theming. Um, also, I've had this about 30 minutes, but just to tell you so far, the screen uh, is a lot smoother. So I've noticed, you know, in terms of refresh rate and just navigating around things like Twitter, uh, it seems like I have my, you know, true 120 hertz back, I can actually get you know very smooth. It's very hard to tell, of course, on video, but it seems a lot smoother. Um, transitions and animations, just navigating around the UI seems to be a lot smoother as well, which is really nice because it was kind of buggy on the first one. 
Um, the phone is a little warm here uh, right at the beginning of using this, but um, that's probably just, you know, because I had to do the update and it was a relatively large update. It was over a gig, so um, that probably just made the phone a little bit warmer. Obviously, I can't say anything about battery life yet. I'll have to dig into that and get a full review out later today because I know people will be very interested in that uh, and also test some of these things like the mic mode that's uh, now in the calling, like I said, and some of these other features. But so far, uh, my main bugs seem to be squashed in terms of transitions, uh, lag, jank, and things around the interface. Um, smooth, smooth scrolling, haven't had any problems with the social media apps yet. You know, I've tried opening pretty much all my social media apps. Some of them were crashing intermittently before, uh, and they seem to be fine now. Otherwise, I want to show you guys that, um, this Monet theming or Samsung dynamic color theming. Hope you guys really enjoyed the first look. Again, sorry for the poor video quality, and I will make another video later today with a more full in-depth review.